Hi folks, welcome back. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Um, another little time video for you, and one that's very apt for this time of year. All of a sudden, on all of the big reservoirs and a lot of the small lakes as well, we're seeing a great big influx of damselflies, damselfly nymphs swimming through the water. I was on Pittsford the other day, and there was a lot of damselfly nymphs, big damselfly nymphs swimming through the water. So I want to show you a little pattern that I used and had success with at Pittsford, and this would undoubtedly work at other damsel waters such as Ibrook and uh, and I'm sure your local still waters as well. But it's a little booby. It's a little booby pattern. This is a size 12 barbless in the vice here, and um, in here just little four mil eyes, very, very small little eyes. Uh, damsel flies aren't enormous flies. These ones I've seen swimming around are pretty big, you know, they're about an inch, inch and a half long. But even still, we've got to keep the proportions right. So let's crack on with this. Uh, thread for this is a um, UTC 70 in olive. And we'll just get that caught in behind there. As always, if you want to check out the video on how to tie the eyes, I'll put a little link um, up in the uh, the corner for you up here somewhere, one of the two. And you can check that out. Please, folks, if you enjoy these videos, click like, click subscribe, and I'll keep getting them out to you. I've got some more fishing content coming pretty soon. And um, I'll do my best. Very, very busy at the moment. So let's just take that back down the hook and then back up again. Towel for this pattern, as you would expect, um, is olive marabou. And this is quite a dark olive I like to use for this one. Okay, so it's a fairly dark olive marabou. I'm going to take quite a healthy pinch of that. And just pinch that off and tie that in, starting back up the head end here, just to give everything a nice, steady profile. Just trim that rubbish off at the end there. And we'll just tie that in there and work that back down. That's perfect. Okay, and then we'll take this down to a sort of length I think we're going to need. And I say these fish are these damsel nymphs I've seen moving about and coming off the other day were very much about an inch and a half long. So we're going to make that whole fly to come out to about an inch and a half long. You can shorten this obviously to make it comp legal. This is just going to be just outside the gauge, but we're not worried about this. This isn't time for a comp fly. This is just a nice. Pleasure day damsel. Okay, we need a little rib in this, and that is going to be Pearl Mylar number 14. Very, very simple. Quick fly. This is you can rattle a few of these out very, very quickly. Let's get that rib in there. Tie that up. That's great. And then the body for this is um, natural squirrel, or you can use hairs here, whatever you prefer. As you're going to dub this on. But this turns lovely and olivey in the water. Okay, so we just take a nice pinch of this and start to dub this on. When this gets wet, it goes a nice olive colour and just gives you that lovely shape and shade you're looking for with all that movement that you'd expect out of a damsel flying it. From what I did notice the other day with these damsels in the water at Pittsford, there was as much in the open water as they were up the edges and they were moving. They were really swimming hard. Um, so don't be afraid to twiddle these quite quickly. So let's just get that on there. And then work the body up lovely to just behind the head where we finish nice and tight and then we're going to come up here with the rib and just bring that rib round about three turns we're looking for really nice pull that in that rib in there because it's going to hold that in place just pull the rib in and then catch in that's lovely and then just finish off in front of the eye. We're going to trip that, trim that rib off. And up in front of the eye there. A few turns. Beautiful. Okay. That's essentially it. Very, very, very uncomplicated fly that is. But what we're going to do now to really put some life into it. Take your dubbing brush. Okay. And then start to scruff it up. Really start to work that dubbing brush in there. Really scruff that squirrel out. Or hairs here, whatever you've decided to use. I like this squirrel because it's easy to work with, I'll be honest. That looks lovely and scruffy. Look at that. Really nice scruffy looking pattern. And when that gets wet, you can imagine the mobility in that. The life in that, the way that wiggles and the way that moves. Cracking little fly. As I say, try it on at the moment. Pittsford, uh, Ibrook definitely. Um, and your probably your little home waters as well, your home, little home lakes. But uh, 
that is nailed on for some sport it just looks tremendous in the water just a little bit of varnish in there just to finish your tie up of course just a little drop of varnish and a little drop in between the eyes and that's brilliant easy 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 but what an effective little fly for you so I get cracking look at that less than five minutes to tie on those and I've been yabbering in between so you can really get on the vice and knock some of these out and of course you can do them without the booby eyes as well and if you want to finish them off with a little red head or something or a little black head I've noticed these damselflies have got quite a bulky head they've got quite a bulbous head to them so don't be afraid to put an extra bit of whipping in there but the movement in that they will chase those down so uh, yeah hope you enjoyed that as always um, uh, click like click subscribe and uh, I look forward to catching up with you all on the bank sometime um, I do enjoy chatting with you when you come up and see me on the water and say I've seen your videos and uh, I like chatting and getting some new ideas, fresh ideas. So I always say hi if you see me out there on the lakes and uh, we'll stop and have a chat if I've got the time. Thanks very much for joining me. See you soon. Bye-bye.